Hello and welcome back to another Black History Nugget. I am author Matt D. Talford, author of three fantastic books. The first of which is my flagship book, From Fear to Faith, The Survivor's Story, which chronicles a difficult and uncertain journey through the war on cancer. The second book is uh, a book for that. It's a niche book for the tennis community. If you're in adult tennis leagues, uh, competition tennis, Captain's Mate is a must have. It's the only book on the market like it. There's no, no, no other book. A lot of books talk, talk to you about how to hit a forehand, a backhand, where to position in doubles, but no book talks to you about the adult tennis league experience and takes you through uh, a proprietary system for uh, setting a lineup. So anyway, I won't get into that because not everybody watching this is a tennis player. But last but not least, Stuck in an Elevator, which is a uh, tale of passion and self-discovery that takes place high above the Los Angeles skyline. Now, enough of that. Let's get back to this black history nugget. Contrary to popular belief, the so-called slaves, which I like to refer to as human trafficking victims, because that's exactly what they were, the so-called slaves already came over with their skill set. Now, uh, a lot of the popular belief is that these people were savages running around the jungles of Western Africa, and they were rounded up by the Europeans and brought over to the Americas to work. Well, if that is the case, did they get on the job training while they were shackled to each other like sardines in the belly of the slave ships? It didn't happen. Got to use a little bit of common sense and critical thinking. These people already had their skill sets, which is why when you look at the old slave charters or the old market, whatever you call them, that uh, you would see a roster of names, names, ages, genders, and whatever their skill was. Blacksmith, cook, seamstress, field hand, you name farmer, you name it, okay, these folks came over with a skill already, which tells us that these uh, European human traffickers kind of already knew who they were looking for. These were not savages. These were not bushmen. They were civilized people. And if you do a little bit further digging, you might learn a little bit more about them, but we'll, we'll save that. We'll save that for another episode. Uh, this is just a really quick Black history nugget. And if you're wondering why I do the double quotes when I say black, well, it's because these people didn't refer to themselves as black. Black is a descriptor that was given to them by the uh, by their captors. And even before their captors, it actually goes back hundreds of years earlier. But I got to save that for another time because I didn't want this video to go that long. So anyway, we're coming up on three minutes, folks. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this on Facebook, I'd love to have a conversation around it. Uh, Instagram, let's talk about it. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment, but more importantly, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe so that you'll see when I'm uploading more videos. And don't forget to click that little notification bell. This is your favorite nonfiction author, Matt D. Talford. I shouldn't just say nonfiction because Stuck in an Elevator is a fiction book. It's not, it's not nonfiction and it's not me. Anyway, folks, have a great day or great weekend, whatever time of week or time of day it is that you're watching this. Peace.